once you have uh, the GNU GCC compiler installed on your system, the next step is to write our first uh, C Hello World application. In order to do that, we need um, a text editor. You can either use an IDE or you can use any text editor. In my case, I actually do recommend uh, to use the Visual Studio Code editor, which is free. By far, it's one of the best um, text editor. So you can download it from code.visualstudio.com. Once you downloaded the software and installed it on your system, you will get this. Once you have the editor ready, our next step is to write our first C Hello World program. So in order to do that, open our editor. Let me first minimize this. We need to create a project. So a project in a sense, we need to create a folder here on my desktop and give it a name learn or we can say hello world C then we go to our text editor I will open my Explorer tab by clicking right at the top here then click on open folder so open folder I will open the hello world C folder or project then right at the top here I will select the new file icon here and create a new file and I will call the name to be main.c and here I will write my first hello world program so to write or to run a C program or to test our C program we need to print um, something to our terminal so to do that we need um, a function that comes from a header called standard input output dot h so include std io dot h and then um, all c program start from a function called main we always need to um, implement the main function not define but implement so our main function returns an int this is where the program execution starts so our main function is main and we open and close a bracket and we will open and close a curly brace here I would like to print something to the command prompt or on the terminal so for that I will use the function that comes from the standard input output header print f and I will put a text in here encapsulated with a double quotation saying hello world and I need a new line space or a new line character so for that I will type backward slash and n then I need a semicolon then this function need to return a value that value is either 0 or 1 and 0 means the function is finished without any problem so I will return 0 just like that and I save this then I will compile it on Visual Studio Code if we want to see IntelliSense, uh, we need to install um, a package. If you install the Visual Studio code for the first time, you will not see this. Or in case, let's say, if you want to run or type a function here that exists in the header, and in the header file, you might not be able to see the IntelliSense to help you, you know, complete uh, writing the program. For that, you have to go to the ex extension tab then we have to choose the C, C++ extension and install this. In my case, I already installed it, so I don't need to do that. In your case, you will not see this. You will see the install option. And once you have that installed on your system, you'll be able to see IntelliSense when you write um, a C program or C or C++ program. Going back to our uh, Explorer, we have our main function completed or done so our what what is left is to compile it in order to compile our program i will open the command prompt or the terminal and i will navigate to the the project folder called hello world c so i'll cd it exists in the desktop then i'll cd hello world c and let's ls and as you can see we have a file named main.c so I'm going to compile this program
program using the GNU GCC compiler. That is, the C compiler is GCC. And my output, I can give it a different name or I can choose to compile it without giving it a name. All I have to do is just type GCC and the name of the file, which is main.c. And once it is done compiling, if I do ls, I see I have a.exe. I'll type that and run it. I'll see hello world. Let me remove that a.exe. I'm going to use rm a.exe ls. So I'm going to compile or compile it again and give the output binary file its own name. So in order to do that in the GCC compiler, we use the o flag as an output dash o. Then we will give it the name of the binary file say I will say out and then we can give it or the main file main.c then if I do ls now I have out if I run it I'll see hello world this way we have written our first hello world C program and compiled it using the GCC GNU compiler